Paola Matarazzo, and um, my husband Dean and I own Dino's Pasta in Somerville, Mass. And we have been making all kinds of fresh pastas and raviolis and sauces since 1947. So uh, we're a fourth generation family business and um, we are very proud to be part of the Somerville community and we, we love being here. So fresh pasta is um, totally different than dry pasta. So uh, we actually use uh, fresh eggs. We have uh, what we like to call our signature semolina dough, which means we use 100% um, semolina. So it's a very simple recipe of semolina, fresh eggs, water, and salt that goes in um, to making our dough. And because of that process, um, when you cook it and, and taste it, it tastes nothing like um, what you know dry pasta on the shelf would taste like. We, we like to say it, it's addictive, like you almost can't stop eating it because it's so good you know, when you start. Um, so uh, that would be a, a big difference. We also, we you know, uh, roll everything out uh, by hand and the way that we cut our long noodles and the process that we use to make our long noodles is very different than um, any other uh, pasta company around here, uh, whether it's a fresh pasta or dry pasta. Um, reason being is we don't extrude the long noodles, so it's not pushed through a machine. It's actually done the way you would do it in your kitchen. So um, the, the dough is rolled out and then cut by a blade. So because the strips are cut by a blade and rolled out and not extruded, it, um, the pasta cooks up much more al dente. And if you're interested in learning more about what sets our fresh pastas apart from other pasta companies and what sets our process apart, we were actually um, written up recently in Edible Boston. Uh, featuring our pasta making process here and how it is different and um, just featuring all the different items that we've been making for decades. This is a ravioli station. Uh, they're making cheese ravioli, free cheese. Same recipe we've had in the family for over 60 years. So we have a traditional blend that we make uh, ricotta and pastata with some imported pecorino romano, imported parmesan, some spices, closely guarded secret. What's really nice about being in business so long and, and um, generation after generation, we've developed different ways um, to take equipment that is specialized, that comes from Italy, um, and modify it, change things, tweak things. Um, we work very closely with a few machine shops. We develop things. Um, we don't have any patents yet, but, um, but, but you know, definitely we make the machine mimic exactly how you would make it at home. Um, you know, basically the, the finest ingredients, but trying to get the best things like a high fill percentage, a delicate dough that always stays al dente through any cooking process, um, which doesn't always happen if you just buy a machine, plug it in, turn it on with no feeling, no passion, and no commitment to actually making the best product. We make over 110 different uh, varieties of pasta, so we make all different flavors of fettuccine, you know, many different ravioli shapes, sizes, uh, different fillings, combinations, different doughs, um, different ways we make certain items to kind of match different uh, traditional pastas that are made in Italy. And then we also make um, you know, some sauces too, and, and that, they're real simple, all natural, non-GMO, just just really good um, and they complement a lot of the pastas in different ways and there's a lot of you know interesting dishes you can come up with by just grabbing a few ingredients from us. So I've been here my whole life uh, you know my whole family we started like as kids and everything to help my dad out in the factory. He started I mean my god he started when he was like six years old helping his dad in the pasta factory. Um, you know it's something that when you're growing up you don't always realize you know because you're a kid um, what opportunity you have, what, what you're really doing, and, and the cool different things about it. Like, my grandfather came over here as an immigrant, you know, 70 years ago, and it, it wasn't always glamorous to be an Italian immigrant in a new country back then, but he found a way out of, um, you know, just by working and, you know, being in the family, having a great family life, um, to be able to build something uh, for himself and his family. So obviously my dad had to you know, work with him and everything because that's what you did back then. And then when my dad had his own family, uh, we all started working at an early age. Um, and I've been doing it my whole life. Um, now we have you know, mainly in the, in the production room a lot of immigrants that have come to this country and they got the same stories. You know, sometimes they're up against a, a difficult task of just coming over here and starting a new life. So it's kind of cool that we're providing 
something that we were founded on, which was coming to this country and actually like making a difference, making a good life for yourself and not doing something wrong, but actually just working hard and, and um, battling through anything.